Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you thoughts of the day. I'm getting ready to exit stage left and head to that trailer and do some gardening. Um, but I wanted to come at you because it, this is an important milestone. Could be more important in a minute. I have 99 subscribers, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know how tickled I am about that? Tickled pink. I heard a vicious rumor, as you know, that one must have 100 subs subscribers in order to go live. So if you can just pull a man off the street and say, hey, subscribe to this, would you? I would really appreciate it. Oh, my goodness. Wouldn't that be great if I reached 100 by tonight? Elated, orgasmic, thrilled, tickled to the marrow. Doesn't even begin to describe it. Uh, so anyhow, yeah, I just basically wanted to come at you. Thank you for your subscription to this insanity. Also... Um, I really want to talk more uh, when I have more time about those ancient tablets, the Sumerian tablets or what have you. I wrote down some notes. God. I think I'm going to stop saying, oh, my Zeus, because, and replace it with, oh, my Poseidon. Here's why. According to these ancient mm, tablets, oh, and evidently they have a ton of information, ladies and gentlemen, not just about our origins, so to speak, but about everything from... I don't, you know, uh, divorce things and uh, the legal and binding this and that and anything you can imagine, recipes, what have you. So two of them, there were two characters that were sons of this one god, what some might call god, but might have been a mistranslation. But at any rate, uh, the head of the Anunnaki people, I forget his name though, but one of them's Enlil, the other one's Enki. Enlil is closely associated with and has been translated as basically the Abrahamic God. Um, you know, father of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the father of Christianity, Islam, Judaism. Later on, i got to get with you about something, too, about Islam, because I can't get over what people are doing here in this country. Okay, remind me, would you? And that's also Zeus. You know, a lot of the old statues and such are that um, are supposed to be of Jesus are really depictions of Zeus, which I learned ages ago when I was really studying religion wholeheartedly. A lot of the, so, uh, almost all symbolism and Catholicism comes from what they call the ancient mystery religions, like including that goofy thing the Pope wears on his head. It's like a fish. It symbolizes a fish, and then we get the fish, the Christian fish, and all that. It all traces back to the stuff. Okay. Enki, E-N-K-I, was the other brother, kind of a better character. And he was a scientist, a geneticist, and um, he was, this is according to the tablets, okay? I'm not saying I believe every bit of it, but it's just interesting to me, ladies and gentlemen. One needn't believe everything to get some joy out of it now, right? Okay. Uh, he is depicted as Poseidon. That's his other name. Poseidon, I think Neptune, is that right? Is Neptune another name for Poseidon? He carries that pitchfork-looking thing. Now, one of these gentlemen represents more of an eagle, and the other one represents a serpent type thing. It's a long story, but the bottom line is, if you go back to the Garden of Eden, uh, you know, I've always thought the snake was actually a good guy. What The snake was truthful and honest, and basically told Adam and Eve that uh, they would have knowledge, you know, don't eat from this, uh, they were told not to eat from the uh, tree of knowledge of good and evil, remember? And or because on that day you will surely die. The snake said, "Uh, uh, that's BS. You won't die." And guess who was right? But the snake. So really, what uh, Enlil, uh, being um, in the Garden of Eden, manifesting himself as what some would call Yahweh or God. They're all the same character according to the Sumerian tablets. Um, he was trying to prevent humanity from getting this knowledge, being knowledgeable, reaching an upper echelon of life or what have you. When Enki, portrayed as the snake, said, have at it, Hoss, you're not going to die, he was right. So really, I've always thought the snake was actually a good guy in that particular story. And not only this whole idea that the snake is really Satan and all, this is, that comes in. That's a much later uh, translation that people think that. It's just, 
something that has been, I guess, added in later years. A lot of this duality comes from the ancient religions, like the uh, good and evil from Zoroastrianism and stuff like that. I love studying this stuff. All right, signing off. My goodness. This went from a thank you for subscribing to a brief uh, story about the Sumerian tablets. Okay, signing off. Lounging. Please see the video series has me lounging. Getting ready to go to the trailer.